Anthony, welcome to Bradford City. You must be delighted to finally join the club. How does it feel to be a Bradford City player? Yeah, brilliant. Um, you know, I've, I flew over a few, couple, few weeks ago and met the chairman and met Greg, and you know, I was really impressed with what they had to say and their vision for the club. Um, you know, pushing forward and you know, Bradford's a club that you know. Um, I remember playing here a few year, well, a good few years back when I was on loan at Burton Albion when when we were both in League Two. And we actually played Bradford in the playoff semi-final and, and I remember coming to Bradford and playing at the stadium and it was just packed out and that was for a, that was for a League 2 game, you know, and I remember just looking around the stadium thinking, wow, so, um, yeah, it's, it's great to finally be here now and I can't wait to get started. And it's probably fair to say you've not been short of offers in the off-season. Aberdeen, of course, the club you've just left, certainly have gone on record as wanting to keep you. How did it feel? Was it a big decision to leave Aberdeen? It was a big decision, yeah. Um, um, I met some great people up there and... Um, you know the manager and the assistant manager were absolutely brilliant. Um, top top manager and a top assistant manager. And, you know it's only a matter of time before they go on to bigger and better things. You know, um, you know I can't speak highly enough of the club. Um, proper family club and you know not just the not just the football and staff. The staff all around the club were brilliant. So yeah, it was a tough decision to leave, but ultimately the one I felt was right was to come back to England. And you know when I heard of Bradford's interest, um, you know I was. It, it was, it was something that I just wanted to get done as fast as I could and, and thankfully it's done now. So you've joined us at a time when we're still looking for a new head coach. Did that play any part in your decision making process or do you feel that having met Edin and Greg that you, you understand enough about the club to be confident that you've made the right decision? Um, yeah, it's, I feel like um, you know when I spoke to uh, the chairman and, and, and Greg, you know, as I said, their vision for the club and and you know it's a massive club. You know you can see with the fan base and and stuff like that. You know and they've got some good players. You know they were going really well last season. Bradford, I was I was keeping an eye on on the leagues and stuff, and they were they were doing really well at one point, and then obviously it, it just faltered off. You know towards the end. But um, it's a club that I feel should be in the championship. Um, you know it's a championship club, fan base. You know stuff like that. Um, so the man the managerial thing doesn't really uh, bother me too much. You know. Um, I'm sure whoever comes in will will work well with with the chairman and, and Greg, and um, and hopefully we can all um, push towards achieving something this season. So your former manager Derek McKinney, who so you've already mentioned, described you as being obsessed in a news article last year, obsessed with the with the game. Does that describe your character quite well? Yeah, it does. If if I'm being perfectly honest, it does. Um, I am quite obsessed with everything about football. Um, you know, even when I'm away from from football, then. Um, you know, I'm always watching videos and, and stuff like that on, on defenders and you know, what, looking on how they play the game and looking how I can add it to my game and I think that's what he meant by you know, he, I'm I'm constantly talking about the game, you know, and you know, I'm I'm striving I'm always striving to be better, you know, even if I even if I feel like I play well on a Saturday, you know, I'll always look back and think I could have done that better, you know, I'm it's just the way it's just the way I am, it's just the way I feel that's how I'm gonna get better, you know, for for the next the next game coming up. So um so yeah I think that's um I think that's something something positive about me you know that I'm always striving to be better than I was the week before. And how would you describe your game? Obviously fans might remember you from a time at Burton, but has anything changed whilst you've been at Aberdeen? Or how would you describe your playing style now? I would say that um, you know I've got a bit of everything to my game. I think I'm quite a consistent player. You know I'm I'm good in the air. Um, I'm good on the ball. You know, first and foremost, obviously, I want to defend. I want to, you know, make make tackles, make uh, make blocks, hit the ball. You know, when I have to, I can get the ball down and play as well. You know, so I think I'm, I think I'm a modern day, I'm a modern day centre half. You know, if that's what you want to call it. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to getting out on the pitch and showing every, everyone what I'm capable of. So this year, the club obviously are, are recruiting younger players in line with a, young, a longer term strategy but yourself 25 played a lot of games do you consider yourself more of an experienced player now in the team do you look to help develop younger players yeah I, you know I see myself as, as a bit more experienced player now um, as you said I've played a lot of games now relatively relatively for a young age you know, I'm only 25 you know but it's something I like to do as well as you know help Help the younger players coming through. You know, I'm young myself, but when I say young, I mean you know the 18, 19 year olds coming through. You know, when I was that age, you know, I always learned off the players that were that were older than me, and you know, I like to do the same. I think I think I'm a leader, 
Uh, and when I say that, I mean try and lead by example. You know, I'm not necessarily a, a massive shouter. Like right? you know, I'm not going around shouting and bawling at people, but I like to lead by example. You know, ensure that I'm doing the right things all the time. And when I'm on the pitch, I'm, I'm bang at it, and that's the way I like to lead. So what now? We've got a couple of weeks before you're in for pre-season. How yeah. do you envisage the next couple of weeks going for you? Well, now it's just it's just go home back to Ireland again now, and you know, um, make sure I'm ready for the first day of pre-season. You know, I'll. You know, I've got a program at home and I'm trying to stick to that, you know, as much as I can and make sure I'm conditioned and ready to go on first day of pre season. Um can't wait to come here and meet my new teammates, you know, I am know a couple of the boys here already. So um so yeah, I'm 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 raring to get going. Do you ever set any personal targets ahead of a new season or is it just take every game as it comes? I try not to, no, not 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 individual targets, I don't set I just you know, me it's just go every game and try and be the best player on the pitch. That's what I try and do every game. You know, if I can come off the pitch and look myself in the mirror and say I played well today, you know, I'm happy. But then again, I'm I'm always striving to be better, as I said, and I want to do better than I did the week before. Um, but you know, if 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 you're looking at this club, Bradford City, you know, there's always going to be expectation on you. You know, from the fans, from everybody. You know, they they want they want more and more, and that's the way it is when you're at a big club. Um, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to get promoted this season to the Championship because that's where I believe Bradford City should be. So. Um, it's just it's just going to be take it game by game, you know, racking up as many points as you can. But uh, hopefully, now I'll get a good pre season under my belt, a good five or six weeks of of hard running and and you know um, getting back in the swing of things. And then once the football comes back around, then it's just um, getting getting as many points on the board as quickly as possible.